do you believe it's not raining? I'm thinking that's an omen. Anyway, I have long felt blessed to live in Western North Carolina, but I have never been prouder of Asheville. I have never been prouder of Buncombe County, and I have never been prouder to live in North Carolina than I am today. Thank you all for being here and for being outside agitators. Thank you. I want to thank Reverend Barber and the North Carolina NAACP for reminding us all how important it is to be outside agitators. Now let me tell you about the people Raleigh thinks are outside agitators. They made it clear that women are outsiders and not to be trusted. Who here thinks that a woman who is faced with what must be the most difficult, most intensely personal health care decision of her life, needs a politician to tell her what to do. Well, that makes you an outside agitator. Trust us, they say. Our only concern is for your health and well-being. Well, if the North Carolina legislator is so concerned with our health and well-being, why did they deny health care to 500,000 people in North Carolina? <laughs> Who today thinks North Carolina deserves worse health care, not better health care? Well, then you're an outside agitator. <laughs> How many people have to die? How many he people have to die because they can't afford uh, to get sick before the North Carolina State Legislature votes to expand Medicaid. This is a program that would have been 100% funded by federal dollars. Your tax dollars that are gonna go to other states now. Who here today is agitated because of the sabotage to Medicaid? Well, then you're an outside agitator. Now, we know that teachers are the single most important factor for success in the classroom. This legislature has made our teachers the worst paid in the country. Who here today is agitated because of the attack on our teachers, the attack on our schools, and the attack Now, times are tough, but North Carolina has a proud, proud heritage of taking care of its own. We are a fiercely independent people, but we proudly work together, especially, especially to provide opportunity for each other and for our children. So why does our state legislature punish those who've been thrown out of work rather than work to create good jobs. Who here today is agitated by our legislature punishing the unemployed? That makes you an outside agitator. Now I can keep on going, but you need to hear the rest of these speakers. But I just want you to know I am so proud to be with you today, you outside agitators. But remember and do not forget, we believe in a North Carolina where children receive the best possible education. Where if you want to go to college, you can do so without mortgaging your future. We believe in a North Carolina where women are respected. We believe in a North Carolina where people are not punished because they can't find work. And we believe in a North Carolina that cherishes everyone's right to vote. We are not content to let North Carolina fail to be all that we know it can be. 
These are moral issues for us, and that's why we're going to keep the Moral Monday moving, going for a long time. Now, I hope you want more information um, about the choices our state legislature is making, and I hope you'll join me back here at the Diana Wortham Center two weeks from today. Uh, the North Carolina Justice Center is coming to do a town hall, and we're calling it Better Choices for a North Carolina. It's at 5.30, and please be here. Thank you for caring, thank you for not losing hope, and thank you for being outside agitators.